Hey everyone, in this Blender quick tip, I show you how you can ignore objects when lighting your scene, when lighting your objects. I have this product render here and we are recreating this professional product render from the Beats uh, Solo, right? So it's yeah, basically exactly one to one, completely photorealistic and professional. If you wanna learn the complete full process, I have a Blender course where we go over the materials, lighting, rendering, as scene setting up, everything. Check out first link in the description. But we have the situation here. So I have this little light source here and this little light source is giving us this beautiful reflection on the Beats logo with this beautiful gradient. If you want to learn how to create a light with the gradient, I also have a free tutorial. Just check out link in the description. But the problem is now because in my scene, I want now a plane for the shadows and just to light up everything. So I need the plane. But if I bring in a plane, so here, now you see the plane, right? Also to brighten up a little bit the, the bottom and to give some reflection and, and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is now you see that this uh, plane is affecting or blocking our light, right? So this is a problem because I don't want to reposition my, my, my light because then the 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 reflection changes. I just want that this light is still lighting everything as it is right now. But if I bring in a floor that it's ignoring the floor, but that the floor is still casting or and reflects the light from the scene. Right? So how can I, because as you see, so just look here at the bottom. So if I remove the floor, then it's too dark everything around. If I activate the floor, then I get this perfect emission, the perfect light to fill in the shadows, right? So how can I tell the floor that it's ignoring this light? It's super simple. We select our nice little light here and you go to the object tab and you just go down where you have um, in the shading tab and you have here at the bottom shadow linking and you just open this little section and maybe you have to create a new one and you just draw drag in your floor in this section and you see nothing happens because we have to invert that and now you see so you have to click here and now you see that we still have light at the bottom and we can basically move our plane as we want, but our shadows are always the same because this light is ignoring in the shadow linking tab. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to take your skills even further, check out first link in the description. My Blender course will guide you step by step to mastering photorealistic product rendering. So don't miss it out. Check out first link in the description box. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and see you in the next one. Bye.